Georgie Jessel was a well-known actor in the days of vaudeville. One time his luck was running very low. Nothing was going his way. There was no work and he was down in the dumps. He sat in his club with his friends, having a few drinks and feeling sorry for himself. Suddenly his name was called over the loudspeaker with the message that there was a telephone call for him. These were the days before cell phones. But he didn't get up to answer it. His friends asked, Why don't you go and answer the call? It could be a job offer. Georgie said, With the way things have been going, not only would it not be a job offer, but on the way to the telephone I would tear my coat. So he missed the job because he did not answer the call. There was once a blind man doing the same thing, sitting there down in the dumps. Things were not going well for him. He was blind. His life had nothing for him. He felt sorry for himself. But Jesus said, Call him. So they did and said to him, Take courage, get up, Jesus is calling you. Get up! All of us find ourselves sitting on our heels sometimes at the side of the road, perhaps in despair or depression. All of us are perhaps entitled to do that from time to time. But we are also entitled to hear that call, Get up! There are many ways that call can come to us. Nancy Astor was a rich and famous lady in England during the First World War. She had built a large hospital. Every day she would go out riding her horse, and either before or after the ride she would stop by her hospital and make the rounds. One day she came in still carrying her riding whip, Entering the neurological ward, she spotted a big man sitting on the floor. She knew him, and knew that his biggest problem was melancholy. He was just feeling sorry for himself, and the doctors didn't know what to do for him. Lady Astor looked at him from across the room and yelled, Get up! You should be ashamed of yourself! With that, she went over and took her whip to him. He jumped to his feet and started laughing uproariously at how she was treating him. That laughter became contagious, and soon the entire ward was laughing. The doctors looked with astonishment at the lady and pronounced her the best doctor of them all. It was through laughter that that man heard the call to get up. Perhaps we hear that call through laughter or through someone's smile, or perhaps it comes to us in an altogether different manner. Once when I was a young priest, I was despairing because things in the parish were not going the way I wanted them to. There wasn't enough money for anything, and being young and stupid, I had not yet learned that in a parish Everybody has his own opinion, and some people are just plain impossible. All this was getting me down. An old German lady came up to me and asked what was the matter. I said, nothing is going right, and I don't see how things are ever going to improve. I don't see how we can solve this problem, and we don't have enough money to solve that program. That know-it-all over there is a thorn in my side. I'm about ready to give up. The old lady said, I know exactly how you feel. I felt that way once, too, in my life. It was years ago, after the war. I was in a communist concentration camp in Yugoslavia. My husband had been shot by the partisans, who made him first dig his own grave. There I was, with my children, in that camp. My little daughter had just died after the guards put pieces of broken glass into the food. 
I had just been beaten up by one of the guards who caught me trying to smuggle in a little potato to feed my starving children. I was sitting there just like you are now, not knowing what to do and not seeing any light at the end of the tunnel. Then, as I was sitting there in my despair and self-pity, I heard my baby cry because she was hungry. And that cry was the call for me to get up because I was needed. Needless to say, when I heard her story, my problems seemed like nothing, and I was shamed into getting up. That is also a way the call can come. All of us from time to time have periods when, like the blind beggar, we sit on our heels at the side of the road in despair, not seeing the light at the end, not seeing solutions, not seeing anything. Some sit there their whole life long, whether in despair or bitterness or self-pity or just a dark negativity. We all know people who never see the good in anything. They are just as blind as the blind man on the side of the road. All of us are entitled to our moments of worry, grief, sadness. But then inevitably comes the call. Get up! Take courage! Jesus is calling! Perhaps it comes wrapped in laughter, perhaps in a child's cry, and perhaps in the form of shame. Get up! Get up! Open your eyes and see truly the beauty around you. Answer that call. Take courage. Get up. God is calling you.